Hello, Ian. Nice. Let us start. What are you doing? We are going to be disassembling a car wash meter today. The first. Over the Phillips head, take off the four screws for the fan guard. To keep everything organized, I generally use the junction box cover to keep all the screws. Next, we'll be taking the snap ring off the shaft. So place your thumb at the back on the opposite drive end of the shaft and remove the snap ring. You keep your thumb there to keep the snap ring from flying into your eyeball. Next, we remove the fan. Generally, on hand, you can use just two hammers. Use the claw end. You can pop it off using the leverage. Finish it off with your hands. Next, we're going to be removing the seal. Just be mindful of the keyway because it can be sharp. We're going to be using a 13 millimeter socket to remove the bolts off of the opposite drive end. Next, we're going to be removing the opposite drive end bracket. Hammer and a flathead screwdriver does the trick. Just lightly tap it and it will come free. And tap the opposite end just so that it moves freely. And applying pr even pressure against the frame, you can push off, just wiggle the bracket loose. Also to, also to note, the spring washer is in the opposite drive-in bracket. Next you can remove the cover if it's there. And removing the key. Again, be mindful of the keyway because it's sharp. Move the plastic cover, seal cover, and remove the seal. Next, moving the bearing cap bolts, use a 10 millimeter socket. Next, we're removing the drive end bolts from the from the flange, six millimeter hex head. We're going to use the same process as we did as the opposite drive-in bracket, a hammer and a flathead screwdriver. Just enough so that it's loose. And you have disassembled the motor.